Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Nova and welcome to Super Tux Kart. This is an open source kart racer, sort of like a Mario Kart or a Crash Team Racing kind of deal. A lot of people have said that it's also a lot like, uh, um, well yeah, Crash Team Racing, this is a lot like Mario Kart. They've said it's a lot like Mario Kart DS specifically. Um, but I think it's really fun. Um, it's got a lot of add-on content. Um, I've actually downloaded uh, a map that I've heard is very good, the Black Forest here. And you can also download all kinds of uh, all kinds of cool different like mascots and stuff. Like if we wanted the F Droid from uh, from the F Droid App Store, um, you know the thing I've been using a bunch recently that I've been telling you guys all about. Um, you have to spell it properly, of course. It's F dash and then lowercase Droid. And you search for that, and there it is. You can go ahead and install that. Um, it's kind of cool, you have all this different add-on content, but today, we're going to be starting story mode. Um, I don't really know what story mode entails, but I'm excited to find out. What do we have here? What program is he from? I forget. What the hell is that little thing? Little dragon man? What the? Huh. He's abducting. Oh my god, it's raining sideways. I apologize for that. Holy crap. It's raining sideways. Um, yeah, apparently he's been abducted into space. And... what? What's wrong, little hippies? It's your great... oh. Oh, he actually speaks. He's in my castle. That's good. He talks very slow. Okay, here's my question. Why is this evil space goblin wanting to fucking race me? Why is that his, his whole shtick? Why is that his deal? Also, before we get into it, really quick, I'm gonna just take one second here. I'm gonna up the graphics a little bit. I'm gonna put them at least on like three or four. Cause I want this game to look decent for you guys. I realized it was on a super basic. And like, there's some nice shading in this game. So I'm gonna go ahead and use it. I'm not gonna do the tutorial. Why the hell can't I do this race? For some reason it never lets me do this race. I don't know why. It just doesn't seem to want me to do it. Um, so I guess we'll go over here. Cause this one works. We'll do Cornfield Crossing. We're gonna do it on... We're gonna do it on Intermediate. It's our first race. We're gonna do Intermediate. Seems like a half decent start to me. But yeah, this is uh, open source kart racing, so if you were like me, and uh, which nobody is, uh, but if you were, for some reason, like me, and you used Linux as a kid, which again, nobody ever does, because I'm a nerd, uh, but if you did, for some reason, this is what you played instead of Mario Kart, because I didn't really, I did have a DS, but I never got Mario Kart DS, and my old computer, uh, we had a computer down in our basement that I used to use to watch, uh, I actually watched uh, Markiplier on it. And it broke one day. I was trying to watch Markiplier, and it just didn't turn on. So uh, it broke, and I decided, um, you know, I'd heard of this thing called Linux, and I was like, yeah, it's kind of a neat, uh, kind of a neat thing. You know, I've heard my brother say it's like a decent replacement for like older computers, and so I put it on on our little computer in the basement, and uh, that was a hell of a snipe put that on our computer in the basement and then I used nothing but Linux for about two years. And now I'm, I'm still kind of coming back to it. You know, I'm not, I'm not entirely away from it, uh, but I'm not also entirely, uh, I guess I'm not entirely sucked into it anymore either. But 
again, that's neither here nor there. Point is, this was a game I played a decent amount when I was younger. You know, probably late middle school, early high school. Because I used Linux for, again, probably two, maybe three years. I don't think three years, but maybe. And this was kind of what I did, was I played this and there was a game that doesn't have an Android port yet. Uh, or if it does, I haven't seen it. Uh, but it's called A Battle for Westnoth, and that might be something I might come back to. It was actually one of the first games I ever tried to Let's Play, and it did horribly. It, probably because it's a freeware game that nobody cares about but me. Um, but I thought it was cool. Why do I always drift the wrong way? That's what's going to kill me here. Drifting the wrong damn direction. Um, but yeah, no, this is uh, a game that kind of is near and dear to my heart. Um, I've actually been playing it a good amount recently with a friend of mine. Uh, we've been playing it a bunch. Because they also find it pretty fun, and I think that's cool that I have somebody else to play this cool game with. Because yeah, it's not the fanciest looking game, but it's fun. And that's what I think matters. Uh, I know the version on PC that you can get is way better because it actually has like local multiplayer functions. You don't have to use this weird virtual steering wheel. Um, and this game plays fantastically if you play it with a controller or even a keyboard. Like, it's a whole different game if you play it like that. So, if you're gonna try it, I would say the Android port's very good. It, you know, it's on par with, like, any other Android racer that I've played, to be honest. Um, but, I mean, it, it's an Android racer, so what can you kind of expect? But, again, I think it's a great game. I'm excited to play it. This first episode is going to be kind of a test run of sorts. To kind of see how you guys respond to it. Oh, cool. We've completed a challenge. That means we get a bonus. I didn't actually know that. What do we get? We got a silver trophy. You've earned 7 out of 10 points for this level. Okay. So. Oh, you can just teleport to shit. That's cool. If you just tap on the, uh, well now I'm lost, I don't know where the hell I am. Um, but yeah, apparently if you just tap on the map, you teleport, which is interesting. Why wouldn't it teleport me where I, ooh, okay. So can I do this? Is this something I can actually partake in, the 75 pointer here? Apparently it is. Okay, I, I don't know what the points are for then. Why is it putting point locks on things if it doesn't matter how many points I have? Is that how many points I earn, maybe? I don't know. I don't get this game. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this. It's something, again, I've been playing a lot of recently. I think it's a lot of fun. Got a lot of memories with this game. And they, they're still updating it. Like, it's still, it's still being developed. It's still being improved. That's what I think so cool about it. It's like... You know, a lot of times these kind of open source free... What the hell is a hammer? I've never seen that before. But a lot of times these open source projects like this, they kind of... Like, they get... It's kind of like they get developed for a little bit and then they kind of just fall apart and go to the wayside a lot of times. This one really hasn't. It's got a really... Kind of a cult following and I love it. I think it's a very good game. Um, so if you guys enjoy it, I would love to play... Oh my god. Like, if you guys enjoy it, I'd love to play more of it. But again, this whole thing hin kind of hinges on you guys and what you think of it. So, so I'm not going to spend my time recording something that no one's going to watch. So you guys let me know if this is something you're into. And if it is, let me know. And I will record a shit ton of it. Because I love this game. But if not, I won't bother. So just let me know down in the comments what you guys think. And that will kind of do... Oh my god. Well, there goes my... There goes my chance at first. Well, oh my god. Holy crap. What is this? Wow. I just went from almost in first to dead last in the span of like a second. And now I've lost the whole race. We're going to go ahead and restart that race. Because that was bullcrap. <laughs> okay, we're going to give this one more try. But yeah, kind of what I'm hoping to do with this series, if you're curious, is not only just play a game I'm kind of nostalgic for, and I, I think it's a pretty good game, but also I'd like to use this as a little bit of an opportunity to maybe kind of just talk with you guys, you know, kind of have a series that maybe eventually I'll be good enough at it that I can just kind of talk 
we can maybe explore some of the user made levels and just kind of you know have a fun with it you know no real pressure or anything just kind of play it for fun and uh, kind of see where that gets us you know give us kind of a platform something for you guys to watch while I ramble on about stuff nobody but me cares about you know um, I think there's always you know space in a channel for that for kind of just I guess vlog style things um, kind of a, a, a method to kind of just talk because what, what else do you what else do you record yourself for really other than to kind of kind of get yourself out there a little bit and talk about some stuff that kind of means something to you so hopefully you guys don't mind me doing that either because there will probably be a lot of that in a series such as this at least I hope um, I hope that I'm comfortable enough to do that and that's again part of this too is uh, I want to be kind of comfortable with you guys I mean, I think that playing a game that I'm very nostalgic and have some good memories with might be a good way to do that. Um, but yeah, so hopefully, hopefully this game looks like fun to you guys. Because if you guys want to play it, I'm 100% down with booting up a server, making a private server, and playing with all you guys. I think that would be great. Have kind of a, kind of a community session, you know? I think that'd be real fun. Completed a challenge. What do we get? You've completed a challenge. Is it a silver medal? It is a silver medal. And you can go back later and do this on uh, on intermediate or uh, what are the other difficulties? I forget what they are. You can go back and get gold on those. So again, if this is something you guys think is interesting, please let me know, and I will definitely uh, I will definitely uh, play this game more for you guys. But if not, I uh, I won't I won't. So just go ahead and leave a comment down below, or if you're friends with me on Discord or something like that. Um, if you're in one of my servers, you can go ahead and just let me know. However, you can get a hold of me, and uh, hopefully, I will see you guys in the next video.